Matt Harding, a video game designer from Connecticut, didn't see what was coming when he decided to take a break from his career and go on a jolly dance parade across the world, which would eventually turn into what we know as Where in the Hell is Matt? A game designer for Pandemic Studios, Matt had inspired the concept for the video game Destroy All Humans. After saving up a bunch of cash, he decided to take some time off from his job and started traveling around the world. While traveling in Vietnam, Matt's friend asked him to do that one silly little dance that he always did. And so began the dance fever as a joke. In 2005, after two years of traveling around the world, he came home and edited together the scenes of himself dancing in 15 different countries, all set to the song Sweet Lullaby by Deep Forest. Titled Where in the Hell is Matt? Matt Harding hosted the clip on his own site and sent out the link, whereby it reposted on his friends' blogs, reblogs, link loved, and even passed around via old-fashioned email, all in the pre-YouTube days. And everyone seemed to admire Matt's dance, for it was a piece without pretense. With all of this attention and good feelings, Matt's video couldn't help but inspire others to create their own parodies and reenactments, even if their own makers couldn't travel the world. Some were limited to multiple locations in a single city, while others still took place in a virtual space. Besides creating seven-figure view counts on his own video, interest in Where in the Hell is Matt spawned a number of six-figure imitators. But where the path of the followers laid out before them, the course of the trailblazer is not without its bumps. According to Matt, not all was smiles and jazz hands during his travels. In an appearance on the TV show Jimmy Kimmel Live, Matt revealed how in Tonga, he was knocked down by a giant wave and in Greece, Matt was arrested for dancing in front of the Parthenon, which the Greek considered a sacred site. But this work was not in vain, as Matt received a ton of media attention, brought smiles to people's faces, and in 2006 was sponsored by Stride Gum that helped him pay for his travel. But was this sponsorship a compromise? Surprisingly, no. While other attempts at co-opting viral videos have led to commercials disguised as content, there was no blatant product placement in Matt's second video, no over-the-top sponsor mentions. Perhaps it's because of this that Dancing 2006 went on to gain over 23 million views. Even the outtakes from the video generated close to 4 million views as well, proving that corporate sponsorships can lead to repeated success. Matt would go on to create another video in 2008, spanning 14 months in 42 countries, that was again met with 24 million views and much success. In December of 2008, Matt gave a facetious, sarcastic presentation at the entertainment gathering, claiming that he had faked the entire thing with an elaborate army of animatronic robots. This, of course, was a joke, but because these videos had such an emotional effect over viewers, they became quite upset at the possibility that they had been lied to. On an internet that often thrives on cynicism and ill humor, Where in the Hell is Matt is a unique viral video. One man, traveling the world, expressing a love for life that has not only given us hope, but allows us a rare and genuine appreciation of G-rated imagery.